Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at the Spawn Object Converter. This is a very useful tool on the Daisy Boosters website. Alright, so here I am in Editor, and what I've done is I've placed the Deer Stand number 2. I've placed it exactly at zero orientation all the way around, not, uh, not turned around or anything like that, right at zero. And I've got a all these up. We've got a pillow down here and another pillow. Those are on top of a bench. We're gonna want those to stick around no matter what because we're gonna have a choice uh, up ahead of percentages of the chance of these different things showing up. But those we always want to be there otherwise these things will be floating in midair and that, that just won't look good, right? So we're, we're gonna want all of those to always spawn in. Those three items right there. All right, so what else we've got here? We've got the scopes for the different guns that we've got. So we've got the SV-98, we've got the Blaze, we've got the Mosin, and we've got a Winchester. And we've got ammo for the different guns and a mag. Uh, we've got a canteen, and we've got some disinfectant alcohol. We've got some purification tablets, and we've got a compass up there. So we've got the Blaze up there, we've got the canteen over there, yada, yada, yada. All right. So, we're going to lock those in, we're going to export this as an init.c and then save it wherever you're going to save it. I've already saved this, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that right there. So that's what it's going to look like, Deer Stand 2, doesn't matter, you name it, whatever you want, as long as it ends in .c, and then you got to export just overwriting that old file and then we're going to open this up in notepad plus plus and then uh, just copy and paste it really quick right into the daisy boosters website and make some files really quick all right i'm going to open this up and then it's going to be in your uh, daisy editor and then whatever folder that you put it in it's right here deerstand2.c go ahead and open that up all right so these, uh, the first things that we need to do is we're only gonna, we're gonna do 100% chance now. So we definitely want the bench. We definitely want the two pillows because that's where everything else is on top. If you wanted, you can do this and you can, every one of those objects would be in every deer stand too, but you have to count in the map groupos of whichever map you're at, you're on, and see exactly how many of those there are. So let's count. So, oh, that's a lot. It's 51, and I don't know how much it would be on Janus, but probably like or 117 or something. I don't know. A lot. So you that would mean you'd have a gun in all of 55 or whatever. How many was it? Count 51 places. And that is just too many. Or maybe that's not too many. Who am I to say? It's completely up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do percentages. All right, so I'm going to open up this .c file. It's in uh, Daisy Editor and wherever, whichever folder you saved it in. It's right here, DeerStand2.c. I'm going to open that up in Notepad++. And the things that we 100% want in are these three things. We want the bench and the pillows that go on top of the bench. Otherwise, all this loot that's on top of it's gonna float, like I said. So I'm gonna copy all of that data and the thing that has to be on top is the deer stand too. All right. And then we go over to the Daisy Boosters website and you're looking under Converter Spawn Object Converter. And then you select whichever map that you want. You can. I'm going to do Livonia because that's what I'm working on right now. And it says fill building chance. And when you click on information, it tells you all about that. But what that means is at 1.00 means there's a 100% chance that this stuff is going to spawn in. Not the deer stand, because otherwise you'd have another deer stand on top of that. It's just giving you the basis of where all the other stuff is located in comparison to where that's at. 
All right, so you just spot, and then once you do that, you just generate output. And that, right here, and you can either copy the output, it's just copy to clipboard, or you can download the output. It also has a little thing where you can click how to use, but we're telling you how to use it right now. So we're gonna download output, and we'll save this uh, right there. And it already said, calls it this, so we'll, we'll call it that. So it'll be an editor, DZB, but I'm gonna save it, and as soon as it pops up, I'm gonna open it up. All right, so ready to go. So in every deer stand two on the map, whichever map you're working with, that's how many of those, uh, all of the bench and the two pillows will be there. So theoretically, we should have 51 of these benches. So let's, set, let's see, yeah, good, it worked. So there's 51 of those. All right, so now we're done with all of that stuff. I'll just go to make little sections here. All right, so I'm gonna copy that top line and I'm gonna put it up here. That'll be a section. And then we'll, down below that, we'll have another section. So we'll have the, dip, the scopes there. And then we'll have all the guns there. And I'll make another entry there because you need one of these on top of every uh, time we go, we're going to go in here. All right, so that's the ammo. And then we'll need one more there for the tools, basically. All right. So now we're going to go back and take each section. At least this is what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. You can do something completely different. So I'm going to take those first. We're going to use the grab all those optics and I'm going to go back to the website. I'll make sure I have a fresh page here. There we go. We're choosing Livonia again. And we're going to we're going to do a fill build chance differently this time. Let me go ahead and put that in here. So that's is the optics. So there's three of them. So let's give it a 0 0.35. That way there's a very good chance there'll be one in each of them. There might be one that doesn't have any. There might be one that has two. Odds are, that's how odds work, man. I don't know. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 35% chance of a scope being in here. And then I'm going to generate output. And so I can either copy and paste it. I can just, again, I can just go copy. And then I could just paste it into a document like that and then save it as a JSON. Uh, you know what? Since we did it one way last time, we'll do it this way this time. So I'm going to save it as a JSON. Hey, get back down there. There you go. Save it as a JSON and this will call this something slightly different. Let's keep that JSON part in there. Save. And there it's now it's a JSON. All right. So the optics are done. So now we can head back over here and get back over to this .c file. So we did the optics just now, and now we're gonna do the guns. So we're gonna copy just this part, and again, making sure that the uh, whatever you're spawning into is on the top one. And then I've got one, two, three, four different guns. So we're just gonna make sure that we're copying that. We're doing Livonia. Let's blat it in there. So there's one, two, three, four guns. So let's do a three zero. All right. So we'll go ahead and generate output. And again, we can either copy it there like we did last time, but I'm going to download it this way. Gun loot. And then we'll open that up. All right. So uh, um, let's count up those so there's sv98s there's 20 of them b95 green there's 19 of them and there's nine of the mosin i wouldn't mind a few more of those but you can always generate a new one 
There's 15 of those. All right, I think you guys get the point here. I'm going to go ahead and combine these next ones. And copy all of that. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see what kind of chance shall we get that here. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Paste that in there. Zero point six five. There we go. Let's generate output. Please select one of these. Oh, doi. There we go. Generate output. There it is. Again, like last time, you could copy it or you could download it. Save. Okay, I've renamed all of the uh, different JSON object spawners and I put them into the custom folder and loaded them onto this server and also made changes to the CFG gameplay to add those in and then loaded that onto the server as well. So we're gonna load in and see how everything turned out. All right, so I've loaded into my Livonia test server and let's take a look at what has spawned in here. Looks like we got uh, the Winchester, we got a compass, we've got the disinfecting alcohol and the chlorine tablets, got a couple scopes, got a mag, got a couple boxes of ammo there. Got the canteen and we got some uh, regular loot. Looks like a hunting jacket has spawned in here as well. So this one looks good. Let's go ahead and move on to another one. All right, so found another one here up near Bilawa. And here we can see we've got a Winchester, got another compass, got the SV-98 and a mag for it. Got a couple of optics, got the chlorine tablets, got 308 ammo and we got a compass on here. If you're at all interested in downloading these uh, files, you can find them on the Daisy Boosters website at Community Downloads, and it'll be in the custom JSON files along with all these other ones here. Thanks for watching this short tutorial on the Spawn Object Converter. I'll be doing more of these in the future because we're going to be adding some functionality to this. So we'll talk to you soon.